machine building plant and is known primarily as the largest plant in Russia for the production of trailers and semi-trailers for trucks. But today he is also actively developing a new direction, the production of mining dump trucks. Before, on the territory of the former Soviet Union, the Belarus in Belarus was the only plant producing them, but 10 years ago Tenor competed with it. True, only in one segment, namely in the segment of dump trucks with a carrying capacity of up to 60 tons. But even the production of such, albeit not the largest and load-lifting mining dump trucks, has become a real breakthrough for Russia. Not so long ago, Tenor launched the second generation of mining dump trucks, which I will talk about here. By the way, Tenor made a special sign for marking its mining dump trucks, choosing a mighty growling bear as its name. Its figure was placed in front of the hood. The first model in the Tenor line of mining dump trucks of the new generation has a load capacity of 45 tons. This is the same amount as the first generation dump truck, which was launched by the plant in a series in 2013, could carry. It was a development of a Chinese-made dump truck. In contrast, the new career tenor is an independent development of the plant. The model for this dump truck was taken not by Chinese, but by American counterparts. As a result, the layout became bonneted, and the cabin turned from a single to a double. And otherwise, the career tenor of the second is a completely different car. As for the previous model, the tenor plant itself manufactures a spar frame and a rear unloadable body for the new dump truck. But if for the first generation model the participation of the plant was limited to this, now it has expanded the range of its competencies, having also mastered the production of a double cab, hood and front bumper. The first sample of the new mining dump truck Tenor 4525 received a body with a capacity of 27 cubic meters with a rounded profile. Such a body is designed to transport a wide range of bulk cargo, crushed stone, sand, gravel, clay, earth and soil. In order not to reduce the length of the body, the designers placed the lifting cylinders not in front of it, but under the bottom, and vertically. The second sample of a second generation mining truck was equipped with a thicker metal body for transporting rock. Tenor mining dump trucks of the first generation were equipped with a Russian-made diesel engine YMZ-650, produced under license from Renault. He was paired with a manual transmission with manual shifting. For the new dump truck model, two engines were adapted at once. The first is a Cummins inline six-cylinder diesel engine manufactured in China with a displacement of 13 liters and a maximum power of 450 horsepower. The second diesel engine is Russian, produced by the Tutayevsky motor plant. Its working volume is 17 liters, and the maximum power is 425 horsepower. Paired with any of these engines, an Allison 4506 speed automatic hydromechanical transmission is installed. An interesting technical solution. In the rear suspension of the dump truck, instead of springs, more reliable and durable balancers on rubber elastic elements were used. Elastic elements perceive vertical loads, and reactive thrusts with rubber metal hinges dampen longitudinal and lateral loads. The new dump trucks have hydraulic steering to increase the angle of rotation of the front wheels. All three bridges are supplied by the well-known Chinese company Hand. The permissible load on the front steering axle is 13 tons, on each of the two rear driving axles, 25 tons. To increase the cross-country ability, the interaxle differential and interwheel differentials are equipped with locking mechanisms. The cabin is designed to comfortably accommodate the driver and one passenger. The central part of the dashboard was made deployed to the driver. Looking at the cab from the outside, it doesn't seem too wide, but inside this cab looks spacious. Differential locks are activated by pressing buttons on the dashboard. If Bellows dump trucks of similar payload capacity are made to axle, with wheels in human height then the Tenor plant has chosen a three axle scheme for its dump trucks. Such a scheme has several advantages, including a lower production cost, which means a lower price for the customer. Because three axle dump trucks use less load bearing, and therefore less expensive axles, as well as smaller, and also less expensive tires. And the curb weight of the Tenor three axle dump truck turned out to be noticeably less than that of the Bellows dump truck of the same load capacity. 24 tons versus 33. A significant difference that affects the efficiency of transportation. It is important that all Tenor mining dump trucks are equipped with a Lincoln centralized automatic lubrication system. There are 24 lubrication points in total. 
the production capacity of the tanner plant allows the production of about 30 dump trucks per month. But these are not only dump trucks with a carrying capacity of 45 tons. Following them, the plant developed a more load-bearing dump truck designed to carry 60 tons of cargo as well as a truck tractor for working as part of super heavy road trains with two dump semi-trailers. But I will talk about them in the next videos. And about the newest model of the dump truck of the Tenor plant, namely, about the Tenor T35 articulated dump truck that is just being mastered in mass production, I recently told you, for those who are interested, look at one of the recent videos on the Project Rover channel.